whole point of it was to be able to send it GPS coordinates and have the drone be able to fly there without the help of someone telling it what to do. For the project, I was to write an Android application that would open an Android map and it would display the latitude and longitude of location touched, which would be used to generate a heading. The whole goal was autonomous flight, and to do that, you need to know several things. One, you need to know where you're going. That means you need a GPS. Another thing is if you're being autonomous, you need to know what direction you're facing. And that's where the magnetic field sensor comes in. My job was basically to interface between that hardware that got data and the drone itself. I took the data that we received and basically sent it along into the drone. My role was the onboard software for the AR drone um, to try to integrate our extra sensors with kind of the onboard software already there. There's definitely a lot of challenges. It was a platform we had to learn from scratch, um, so we do a lot of research. I definitely like how they structured the senior design lab. Are you kind of free to build stuff yourself? It allows you to apply everything you've kind of been working and developing, all of the skills, all of, you know, teamwork and research and um, coding and all sorts of things, and you have to put it all into one giant Project. It's what the business world would be like for an engineer. You're given a problem, and it might not be very well defined at that time, but that's the whole part of the job is you have to do it yourself. You have to come up with a solution, and it's a great learning experience. Winning the Rummer Award it was very validating. It helped me feel like the thing I've been working on for an entire year meant something. We accomplished something quite fantastic.